gives me something. Oh yeah, so that's your pattern right there. That's cool. Pinstriping dates back beyond the horse-drawn buggy days, but it didn't get popular until the 1950s. And then you just hand over the rest of it. You hand hand in, right? Well, you do your thing, I'll let you go to it, all right? Good enough. Pinstriping is one of the hardest parts of doing a restoration, but it also adds that final touch. Ted has 25 years of experience, but even he's still learning. The scary thing is it doesn't take much to mess up, and that means starting over with sandblasting. The best pen striping brushes are from Blue Squirrel Hair. These brushes will hold a tremendous amount of paint. Sit. Sit. Make it a much stronger body. Perfect 90 degree angle. Got to be so precise. Nice. What's really important is that we make both of them exactly the same. Make it very accurate because we need that cut exactly down that line. If we're off a sixteenth of an inch, um, it's going to look different. So it's very important for us to hit that thing right on the head. All right. When I heard you might have one, tell you what, I couldn't even sleep last night. I was so excited. <laughs> All right, Tyler, let her rip. Larry showed us some amazing food, but he saved the best for last. Pigs transfer waste into See, they want some good corn chips. I know I do. Want some coffee? See inside America's most delicious pigs. The happier pig and the better meat pig. Exactly. On the season finale of Home